Why are you drawing stuff on the front path? Net asked on Friday afternoon. His twin sister Nadia put down her blue chalk and picked up a yellow chalk. We've been making kids' picture books at school, so I felt like doing some drawings on the path, the way we used to. Looks cool, eh? She drew a sun on the concrete. A woman walking past on the footpath glanced in, then smiled at the two kids. Net pointed. So, why have you drawn a dog kennel with people inside it? It's not a dog kennel, Nadia told him. It's a house. Can't you see? Yeah, right. Went Net. Looks more like a dog kennel to me. <laughs> went Nadia. What do you know? Remember that time you tried to draw a space rocket for your class project? It looked like a toothpaste tube. Nat said nothing, but he kept staring at the house Nadia had drawn on the path. Later, when he was carrying the rubbish out, Nadia came rushing up to him. You messed up my drawing! The twins' mother looked out the door. What are you terrible two fighting about now? Nat messed up my drawing," said Nadia. He's gone and drawn this big, huge bone lying on top of the house. I did. Well, told you the house looked more like a dog kennel. Nat said, so I thought the dog would like a bone to go with it. You leave Nadia's drawings alone," their mother told him. They look nice. Yeah, right. Went Nat. Nice for someone who likes living in a kennel. On Sunday morning, Nat and Nadia were waiting for their mother to drive them to soccer. Nadia was out on the front path doing more drawings, so Nat went to see. The same woman went past on the footpath. She looked at what Nadia was doing and smiled at the twins again. Why have you drawn atomic explosions with soldiers marching away from them? Nat asked. He must be doing a seriously weird kids' picture book. They're not atomic explosions, Nadia told him. They're flowers, big flowers. And it's not soldiers marching; it's people pointing at the flowers. Haven't you got eyes? Yeah, I have. And looking at your drawings makes them feel sore. When they came back from soccer, Nat changed into his ordinary clothes. Then Nadia came rushing up the path. You've messed up my drawings again. What are you troublesome to on about now? Their mother asked. All the people pointing at my flowers have got army helmets on," said Nadia. "Well," went Ned. "They look so much like soldiers marching away from atomic explosions. I thought they needed helmets to protect them." "Do your own drawings," their mother told him. "See if you can draw as well as Nadia." "Yeah, right," went Ned. But on Monday afternoon, Ned took some chalks out to the front path and started drawing. He felt a bit embarrassed doing little kid stuff at first, but he soon got into it. After a while, Nadia came out and watched. Nat put down his red chalk and picked up a green chalk. Nadia pointed. Why, why are those people doing ballet dancing? They're not people ballet dancing, Nat told her. The guy is playing rugby. Yeah, right. So that's why they're kicking their feet in the air. They look like ballet dancers to me. Later, Nadia was helping her mother set the table. They heard Nat yelling from the front path. "What are you terrifying to starting now?" Their mother asked. Nadia went out to the front path. "You messed up my drawing." Nat went. "You put skirts on all my rugby players." "On your ballet dancers, you mean?" said Nadia. The woman who'd smiled at the drawings walked past again. She stopped and came up the path. A man was with her, holding a big camera. "Hello," the woman said. "I'm from the Western Post. Our newspaper is doing some articles on brothers and sisters. I thought since you two look like you get along so well and you've done these cool drawings, we might write an article about you. Do you mind?" Nat stared at Nadia. Nadia stared at Nat. They both stared at their drawings. I'd like to take a photo of you," said the man with the camera. "Said okay." Oh, and there's a prize," the woman told them. "You each get two free movie passes." Nadia and Nat stared at each other, and their drawings again. Yeah," 
they both went. Yeah, right. Right.